The 2010 British Touring Car Championship begins this Sunday and new technology could be set to change the sport forever. Uh, this Sunday we're racing at Thruxton for the first round of the British Touring Car Championship and uh, it's going to be very, very exciting because for the first time ever I can actually drive without wearing any glasses, which stops my glasses steaming up, I can see where I'm going. Uh, Thruxton is the fastest circuit in the UK, so when you're doing 140 mile an hour, it's quite nice to now have a windscreen, which got my prescription in. But how does it work? The pioneering development is in production here in Derbyshire. It's something completely radical. We're the first in the market to do it. Nobody else has done it. And it, we're very excited about the prospects uh, moving forward. Myself and my whole family are short-sighted. And we've always got in the car and gone wear my glasses and had terrible problems of, of driving and going to search for glasses. So we thought it'd be a really good idea if we made windscreens to the actual optician's prescription for those particular people, such that they don't have to worry about wearing glasses, they can wear sunglasses, and, and just get on with, with driving normally. It's very important to get these windscreens right. We have to work to the driver's needs. It's been no different from manufacturing the normal windscreens once we produce in the factory. The optician's been working very closely with us for the last five years. My wife has had one of the very first windscreens manufactured in this uh, new form, and it's been a godsend, really. She's not had to worry about her glasses anymore. Well, the windscreen acts like a giant lens in, in your glasses, and it works by refracting the light. And in the same way that the lenses are in your spectacles, your windscreen can either be convex or concave. So we've used that to manufacture the prescription windscreen. Well, we've tested it on quite a few people. The initial reaction is they're quite nervous because they're so used to you know, hunting for their glasses and putting them on to drive. So actually sitting there without their safety net of glasses, so to speak, and having to rely on a windscreen once they get over that hurdle, they think it's fantastic. In terms of looking into the future, uh, we're looking at bifocals because we recognise that people are short-sighted and long-sighted and the same. And the one that really interests me is looking at the opportunity with airlines where we're looking at putting prescription windscreens into aircraft, which really means the sky is the limit for that product. For the moment though, with wheels firmly on the ground, all eyes on whether it really can improve drivers' performances. Well, I was testing last week with this brand new windscreen with my prescription in and it gave me a hell of an itch. I could see everything. It's the first time I could really genuinely sit in my race car and be fully relaxed and see everything. And I think it's going to give us an advantage for this year, 2010 in the British Touring Cars.